Hi guys! So today I have a yard sale haul of some stuff that Eric and I have recently picked up at some yard sales. So you saw some of this yard sale footage um, yesterday. So every week there's still just only like a handful of yard sales but they're definitely starting so I'm so happy about that. Um, so I'll just get into what we picked up. Uh, we did go to a yard sale that we go to pretty much every year and we tend to always find stuff there and I found three cloisonne um, Christmas ornaments so and they were all well not all of them were in the same box but two of them were in like this type of box I just kept them in these boxes uh, so this one here is of an angel it looks like that so double sided really pretty um, I have all of them listed at $19.99 a piece so I got the angel I also got this one and this one is just kind of like a floral design all over it very very pretty and again buy it now $19.99 and then the last one was just in this red box here and this one has um, butterflies on it. And this one looks like that. So again, double sided and buy it now, $19.99. I wasn't sure what to list them for. So if they don't go for that um, closer to Christmas, maybe I'll come down on the prices on those. At that yard sale, Eric found two Tivana teapots. Um, so these are really heavy cast iron um, Japanese teapots. And they are by Tivana. This one has koi fish on it. And they have the uh, diffusers on the inside to put your loose leaf teas. And they also have like their plates on the bottom. So the koi fish I listed as a buy it now for $49.99. And then he also found this one. And this one is also a Tivana, so again, it's cast iron. And um, this one's like a reddish, like burnt reddish color with like a little hobnail texture. But again, it has um, all of its components, its diffuser and bottom plate. And this one here I also listed as a buy it now for $49.99. At the same yard sale, I'm just going to go buy this yard sale, I found this little jewelry box um, it's a music box and I just fell in love with this so you can see inside there is Santa Claus and he's dressed up like a hippie it is so stinking cute he's got his tambourine there's a little drawer here that pulls out that you can use as like a jewelry box and then the back has the wind up so this is so cute let me show you what it looks like I won't wind it too far but he just dances around <laughs> In the music box, I thought that was so adorable. Look at him go. <laughs> I just love this thing. I think it's so neat. I could just watch this for forever. So this here I listed for a buy it now of $35. That's what the last one sold for. So and there wasn't any of this um, exact one listed. So that's what I went with. I also found this um, vintage Prince glass. This would have been like a carnival prize back in the day. Um, it is glass in like this cardboard sleeve. So, and it's of Prince. I figured someone would get a kick out of this if they, you know, love Prince. So I decided to pick that up. And this here I have listed as a buy it now for $29.99. I also picked up this piece because I just thought it was really cool looking. This is burl wood um, and it's just like an abstract kind of wooden sculpture. Um, so I don't know if this will sell or not but I was drawn to it and I just like interesting things like this so I just decided to, to pick it up. Um, so this here I listed as a buy it now for $39.99. I saw another similar one listed for around that price. And Eric found these really awesome sleigh bells. So it's got a ring here on the end so you can hang them up. And they make a great noise and they're on a nice leather um, strap. 
typically these sleigh bells like when we see them at auctions they sell for a lot of money um the longer they are the more money they tend to be worth kind of thing um but you know we don't actually have a set like this so we're either keeping these or we might save them for our antique booth haven't decided yet but those are really nice i love i love the sound that they make so those aren't listed so I think that's everything we got at that particular yard sale and um, they didn't have prices on anything. Um, when we went to check out, they said, is $20 okay for everything? And we're like, yep, that's great. Like that is a really great deal for all the stuff that we found. So we paid $20 all together for all of that. Um, then Eric had found this at a yard sale. So this is one of those like stained glass looking lamps and these tend to sell pretty well we have sold other stained glass lamps like this um just different depictions animals that kind of thing and they typically sell pretty well i know we sold a nutcracker not that long ago for good money so this one's like a clamshell um eric paid five dollars for this and we have it listed as a buy it now for $85. So this would be great for like a beach house or even a bathroom because it's on the smaller side. Um, not on camera, but we found a Nintendo GameCube at a yard sale. Um, needs cleaned up. Uh, she was asking $10 for it. So um, we paid $10 for this. I feel like it came with a controller, but I don't know where that is exactly. But the great thing about this is, and the GameCube, I forget exactly what Eric said he could potentially sell it for, but what made this an even sweeter deal for $10 is that there was a game inside and it is a Zelda game. Um, this is Zelda um, Twilight Princess, but this game alone, just the disc is probably worth about $80 to $100. So to pay $10 for the console plus that game was a great deal at the same yard sale where we picked up the gamecube i found this michael kors backpack um it it smells like real leather to me it's very thick well made i mean the whole back is padded the the straps are padded like it's all marked michael kors and like michael kors on the inside but Guys, I am not like, I'm not super familiar with Michael Kors. I know way more about authenticating like Coach and Dooney and Burke and stuff like that. Michael Kors, I really don't know much about. So I couldn't find any kind of information on this. So I'm probably going to like post it on like um, an authenticity type of group to get it authenticated because right now I just don't know if it is or not. I only paid $3 for it, so it's not a huge loss if like it would end up not being real. But just at the quality of this, it's really, really good. So I'm, I'm hoping, I'm remaining optimistic that it is, but I really don't know. So this obviously isn't listed yet and it won't be until I get it authenticated. What you did, girl? Do you wanna say hi? Do you wanna say hi? Come here. Oh, come here. Oh, hi. Amelia just came downstairs. Hi, baby. Do you want to say hi to everybody? No, don't be shy. Don't be shy. Say hi. She's like, no. <laughs> Aw, hi there, girl. She's going to get her hair cut soon. Probably within like the next week or so. She's getting a little, getting a little bushy, aren't you, girl? Yes, your little hair's all up in your face. You need a pupper cut. Oh, yes, you do. I like blowing raspberries on it. <laughs> yes, Daddy went to the post office. And she's like, where is everybody? Okay, so also I found this vintage coach bag at a yard sale. Um, and this is authentic. <laughs> um, I do know how to authenticate coach bags. It's a little dirty on the inside. It definitely needs cleaned. Um, I'm going to clean it with my leather cleaner unfortunately this smells like cigarette smoke i feel like this is becoming an issue um when i'm picking up purses at yard sales here lately and i feel like it wasn't really an issue before and now all of a sudden it is so um i definitely need to get this like 
cleaned up and smelling um, better because it reeks right now. I paid $10 for it and this particular style, I think I could at least get 60 to $80 for. So for $10, that was a great deal regardless. At one sale, I did, I found this shirt and I pretty much convinced Eric to get it because I thought he'd look so nice in it. It's this really nice buckle, um, thermal long sleeved shirt. It's kind of like a Henley, I guess. And it's got these like textured bits like on the shoulder and then they're also on the bottom. Um, it smells like cologne. It smells really nice, but it definitely needs wash because it smells like cologne. Um, but it was $2 and I think he'll look really nice in that, um, come fall. So that pretty much concludes what we found at yard sales, um, this week. Well, actually this was, a, this was Thursday. So <laughs> yard sailing on Thursday. So, um, before I pop off of here, I'm just going to show a couple of other things that I recently got listed. Um, uh, first thing was this really large cat, it's like a cat tapestry. Hopefully you guys can see this. All right. Looks like that. Um, I got this at a churchyard sale at one point. I feel like this was last year. Um, and I listed it as a buy it now for $29.99. Then, cause the weather's been so nice. So I needed to take some of the stuff outside to take pictures of so I could lay it out. Um, I got this at a yard sale last year. Um, this is a Bratz tapestry blanket. So this is vintage, um, very desirable, obviously it's Bratz. I listed this as a buy it now for $119.99. That is what the last one sold for. So, and there's none currently listed. So it would be nice to get that for it, but we'll see. And I also have some Torrid tops again that I got last year while yard sailing. <sighs> I know that seems so crazy, but you know, if you're a reseller, you totally understand where I'm coming from. You know all about all about the death piles. Um, so yeah, that's why I still have stuff from last year that hasn't been listed, but I'm really trying to get caught up. I was hoping to be caught up before yard sale season started this year, but it didn't happen because we're constantly was getting inventory from auctions and that kind of thing. So you know how it is, but I have this tour top. It's a cold shoulder top with a floral embroidery. Um, and this is new with tags. It still has the tags attached. It is a size four. Um, I listed this as a buy it now for $25.99. I also have this Torrid tank top. This is so cute. It's called Super Soft Knits. And this one is a size two. So it's blue, looks like that. This one I have listed as a buy it now for $19.99. Then I have this one. This is also a super soft knit. And again, this is a size two. It's floral, looks like this. And this one here I have listed as a buy it now for $16.99. And then the last one that I have is this orange tank top. Again, a floral, it's got a smocked back, which is nice. This is a size four, and I have this one listed as a buy it now for $19.99. And I also have this really nice Italian glass um, genie bottle style decanter. This is really cool. It's got these embossed stars around the topper. And then around the base, it had, these are all like the astrological signs. So it's like a Zodiac, really cool. And it's marked made in Italy on the bottom. This I only paid 25 cents for at a yard sale. Last year, um, I've been going through a tote of stuff from last year that I found and it still had the price sticker on it. I listed this as a buy it now for $69.99.
that is everything for Thursday's yard sale haul plus you know a little bit of extra things that I threw in hope that you are finding really cool stuff at the yard sales already this year let me know what you've been finding and how yard sales have been going for you and I also hope that you enjoyed the video so let me know what you thought down in the comments and I will see you next time